<laughs> How fast should your game run? I think you probably decide way too quickly on a game speed. Your game speed is super important. Today we're gonna run some experience on the game I'm currently working on. We're gonna run it with 100 times the speed, with half the speed, with all kinds of speeds. And I'm really excited to find out how all of this plays and how all of this works. But the main point I want to get at before we start with that is... If you develop video games, if you're into game design, you probably start out prototyping something and then you get used to a certain game speed. I think you have to rethink that a couple of times. One of my favorite examples is also StarCraft because for the longest time the normal game speed was called faster. You could choose different game speeds and literally the one everybody played on was called faster. So I think the way this happened is they intended it to be a lot slower, that was also normal game speed, but nobody was playing on that and then later on they found out, oh, this plays a lot better on faster, so they just made that the default. <laughs> And yeah, we don't want to, that to happen to us and even worse, a lot of games don't even realize if they're not running their entire game with the wrong speed. So I highly encourage you to experiment with that and that's exactly what we're going to do today. This is the normal speed. You need to do this absolutely perfectly if you want to win. But no problem, we can do it. I can beat my own game. I can't keep up. Oh my god, it's too stressful. Mm. But here's already one of the problems you can see with the game, um, especially in those end stage scenarios where you only have a lot of creatures, I think the game is definitely going too slowly, because now I have to wait so long. And I still can make it, but just will take forever for those eggs to split over and over again. I don't like this kind of end game at all, we will have to fix that, but I think just adjusting the game speed will not be enough to fix that. A little faster, let's try game speed 1.25. By the way, the game speed variable here doesn't impact the entire game, but the most important aspects like your egg hatching speed, your creature movement speed and the enemy movement speed. So now we're at 25% faster, let's see how that goes. And we'll try way, way crazier speeds later on. I'm really <laughs> looking forward to that because I haven't tried that myself. Mm, so far I don't really notice a big difference, but I feel like the level ends a bit more quickly. Oh, oh, how did I do th that? Looks way better than last time. Uh, not really, <laughs> pretty much the same result. <laughs> um, so you're not interested in finishing that? The end game sucks too much. Let's go faster. This level, let's go. Oh uh oh. Um, now I can notice the difference. In some way it even gets a bit easier because I don't think about what I'm doing that much. I'm just trusting my intuition and hoping that I don't explode too many creatures. But you can see I have a lot of red eggs. <laughs> That's not good, they're too close together. That would probably not happen if I ran the game with a lower speed. Oh dear. So yeah, that <laughs> is quite hard. I think if we make the game that much faster, we probably need to give the enemies a bit less HP. And there's also a way to do that, so <laughs> already implemented that. But for now, let's try to double the speed of what I originally intended. Let's double the speed, let's double down. Okay, let's go. Oh my god, they're so fast. <laughs> Oh, that's, that's brutal. <laughs> Actually, for that kind of speed, I did quite well. So now I'm really interested how well will I be able to beat that level on half of the original speed. So, whew, okay, first of all, I have a lot more time in the beginning to set these eggs up correctly. And bang. Now I can land some perfect hits with those. Because if they're exactly on top of one of those big guys, that's when they're the most effective. Then they deal the most damage. Nice. So I think <laughs> if it runs with this speed, I'll be able to beat it quite easily. So because I played that well, actually we don't get this weird endgame situation this time. But I imagine if I messed this up and we got into that endgame situation where we had only a couple of creatures flying around, it would be even more annoying because they would fly around even more slowly. Let's go a little crazy and we'll get progressively 
more and more crazy. Let's try three times the game speed. <laughs> this will be a racing game now. <laughs> oh, no. oh, what? What is going on here? Okay, no, 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 no. No, okay, before we uh, try to balance that, let's go a bit more extreme. I don't know if an even extremer extreme will make sense, but this is 10 th times of the original intended game speed. This will be just so fast. No. <laughs> <laughs> this looks so funny. It's impossible. <laughs> Just impossible. Or should we try even higher? Okay, I promise that we're gonna go ex absolutely insane now. This will be just insanity. Okay. Mm hmm. Yep. 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 Okay. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Yeah. Yeah, of course. <laughs> this is... <laughs> What's, hap What's happening? Okay, that's... No, no, no. Not playable anymore. So let's try one more extreme and then we're gonna go into balancing and hopefully finding something that works. Let's try 0.1. Just to try the other extreme. This is 10% of the originally intended game speed. And... No, this... This is too boring. <laughs> I'm already bored. No, no, no. Maybe 0.1. 0.3 works or something like that, but yeah, I don't know what I expected honestly Don't know what I expected <laughs> No, no <sighs> No No What about No, so I think the lowest we can go is 0.5 and the absolute highest we can go is probably two or three other everything above that just is pure insanity. Let's actually try to balance the game for double the speed, 7.5, so they have 25% less HP, but the game is running twice as fast, so it's still gonna be a challenge, I guess. Uh, still feeling quite a bit more stressful. Mm, probably not quite enough to make up for the difficulty. Maybe 6.5, ah no. Let's, let's do something that we realize that's a mistake you make way too often when balancing games. You should make changes that are easy to recognize in the beginning, so you get a feel for, for them and then you can decide way more precisely where it probably should be. The balancing obviously doesn't need to be perfect yet, just, just want to experiment and see how it feels. Honestly, I feel this a bit too stressful. It stresses me out. I need to click so fast oh, and it's still quite hard. But yeah, it's, I guess it's supposed to be hard. Probably not the correct game speed for this game. <laughs> Probably not. Mm, I enjoyed, actually I enjoyed the slow version of the game a lot more. So let's try 0.75. 0.5 maybe was a bit too slow. Let's try 0.5 and let's set the enemy HP to 1.1. So 10% more than at normal speed to compensate for the additional time we have. Mm, so yeah. But a comfortable speed actually. I think this is completely fine. Let's turn those into eggs. And yeah, actually I think I can manage the additional HP the enemies have just because I have a bit more time to react. And now we're at that boring endgame part again where in theory we can still win but sitting through that victory at this point is just super boring. But other than that, I felt like this speed setting was quite enjoyable. Maybe we can try a little slower. Maybe we can try 0.5 again, actually. Just want to experiment, want to get your opinion on, on that. And I can understand that you can probably not give me all that good feedback without playing it yourself. So I will make sure you can play it very soon and 
you can play with different speeds and all of that sort of stuff that would be cool but maybe you can give me some feedback based on the video as well would be awesome what do you think about those different speeds which is your favorite speed i wanted to make a strategy game let's keep that in mind so this feels a bit more like a strategy game but maybe the action component is lacking a little here don't really know Obviously we can also give the players the choice in which speed they want to play. That would also be an idea. But nonetheless we still have to decide on our default speed. Mm, don't know if it felt better or worse. Let's compare it one more time with the fast version. Let's go with a speed of 1.5. So this feels more like an action game, feels a lot more stressful. I think 2 was probably too much. One point Five is something you can handle and something we shouldn't forget is that maybe the original speed wasn't that bad either maybe the original speed was already a good solution uh -huh. I don't like the end game of my game <coughs> let's play the default settings to end this because maybe maybe the default settings were already correct doesn't feel too stressful doesn't feel too slow you know the default settings are not bad they're not bad. Okay, this was a super interesting experiment. I want you to try the same thing in case you're developing a game. Experiment with your game speed, with the overall speed of your game. And in case you're developing with Unity, it's super easy because you just have to change time dot time scale. So in Game Maker, it's a bit more difficult to change the speed of your entire game, but in Unity, it's super easy. Experiment with your game speed. It's one of the most important variables in your game. Other than that, this is a YouTube channel about game development and game design. If you're interested, check it out. I want you to have an amazing day, make the world your playground, and see you in the next one.